Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here, and uh, today, as part five of a five-part video series, we're going to have a look at how to play five early and very underrated Alex Lifeson guitar riffs and tracks. Uh, in this particular video tutorial, we'll be having a look at how to play Cinderella Man from Rush's fantastic 1977 album, A Farewell to Kings. No solos uh, included in these shorter tutorials, just riffs, verses, and choruses, and the odd bridge, I suppose. However, you hit any of these videos with enough likes and views, we'll perhaps have a look at the solos for each of these in the future. Uh, gotta tell you about my hand, uh, full disclosure here. I have a really sore left hand, uh, and fingers, these two middle fingers especially. I must have pulled a muscle in my arm or pinched a nerve in my neck or some such thing, so it's been rather painful and uncomfortable playing guitar uh, the past couple of weeks. So if I uh, flub up any notes here or there, uh, you have my apologies. Uh, regardless, the other four tutorials in this series can be found linked down below in the description box if you'd like to check those out as well. But for now, let's close in here a little bit on the fretboard, have a look at how to play Cinderella Man from A Farewell to Kings. Good then, let's have a look at how to play Cinderella Man, Alex Lifeson and Rush from their A Farewell to Kings album from 1977, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we're in standard tuning for this tutorial. We are on the bridge pickup of a Les Paul style guitar, in this case a PRS. And uh, uh, Cinderella Man goes a little something like this. <laughs> So we are starting with this little lick. Two to four of the A string, open D, up to five, back to four, back to open on the D string. So. And now you're gonna repeat that a second time, but you're gonna double up the notes. Kinda like that. we drop into the uh, the main riff repeated four times so we're starting with an A major chord here or an A power chord if you like and then we're going to drop on to this D chord which is kind of a D over A type chord uh, we're still holding this bar this A power chord bar but we're going to drop our middle finger onto the third fret of the B string and our ring finger onto the fourth fret of the D string you know it's kind of like the start me up start me up chord now we're going to move down to uh, D and drop onto D sus which is the uh, dropping our uh, pinky onto the third fret of the high E and then you're going to repeat that four times. Now, halfway through the fourth time, you're going to stop right there and uh, do this little lick. So uh, we're, we're now we're just before we do that we're in this position this D over A we're going to uh, play this lick with our ring finger and our pinkies because it'll give us a it'll uh, get us in a good position to drop into those double G's that we're going to get to. So four five four of the uh, A string with our ring finger pinky ring finger. Grab that fifth fret of the low E string with our pinky. And then back to the third fret of the uh, low E string with our middle finger. And now we're in perfect position to drop into a full G chord for two downstrokes. And you repeat. So and now we're into the acoustic part. So let's get ourselves up to that point nice and slow. And 
now we're into the acoustic section. I'm going to play it on this. I'm just going to drop my uh, my volume a little bit here and kill some of the gain saturation. Maybe I'll kill the gain a little bit on my amp as well. And uh, so these are the chords uh, on the acoustic guitar. <laughs> So we're starting with an A major chord, right there, an A uh, bar power chord, if you like. And then we're gonna move that uh, up to a, a B sus right here, uh, which is just barring, we're moving our bar up to the A string, basically. It's just in passing before we move into this uh, C minor chord. So uh, A, and then a little mute, and then we're gonna drop into that B sus very briefly. Right there, we're just barring the second fret of the A, D, and G string. And now we're into this C minor with a flat sixth, I think. Uh, still barring the second fret of the D, G, and B string. And we're dropping our ring finger on the fourth fret of the A. And now we're just strumming kind of like the four middle strings. Now we're going to go up to G, down to D. And you're going to repeat that. Now, the second time you repeat it, now we're going to double up on the G to D's. Kind of like that. Quick little shifts. And then we're into this little section. So we've got a little G chord here, a little D shape at the uh, seventh fret position. A little down, up, down. And then you're going to move it back to this uh, this little D chord here. We've got my uh, uh, index finger on the fifth fret of the high E, and uh, ring and pinky on the seven of the G and the B, with a couple of down strokes. Now we're going to move that whole thing down two two places into uh, a C uh, C minor, or no, it's a C major actually. And you're going to downstroke that three times when you're in the C. Twice there. Three times right there. And then we're going to drop into this uh, C sus2. And that's just barring the third fret of the uh, B and the E string and the fifth fret of the G. You're basically just playing on the bottom three strings here. Now you're going to repeat it. And the second time, you're only going to hit that C uh, chord twice instead of three times, and you're going to go into G major with just the bottom four strings. time. Now we're going to take these uh, three chords that we were just using, that G chord there, that D chord there, and that C chord there, and we're going to do this. We're basically just uh, going from G D, back to C, and then back to uh, D, back to G, double hit this time on the D, C, D, and then we're going to go into a C to finish it up. I like to use this C right here, pinky and ring on the uh, 
third fret of the B and the high E, and then your C shape right here on the second of the A and the, or the third of the A and the second of the D. And now we're into the chorus. Cinderella Man. So the chorus, D, A, and then he adds that little bit of flare right there, rides up the third and to the fifth of the uh, B string. Cinderella man. Now we're going to move into a, a B, a B minor, up to E major. The E major, he's not so much strumming as doing all down strokes. Changes it up a little bit there. finishing in an A power chord. And then a bunch of hits on that G. And then finishing on a D. So the chorus up to that point. Keep that a second time. There's one other little funky part in this uh, that I'm going to show you. How's it go? That kind of thing right there. So we've got our A power chord here. So you're going to go from the open A string. And then on the upstroke, you're going to catch the uh, the G string, uh, the second fret, and then you're going to drop onto the fourth fret of the A, and then again catch that third fret of the G, kind of like that, and then drop into this uh, this D, this D over A, and then back to the A, and then move the whole thing up here. And you're doing the exact same kind of rhythm, but you're kind of starting on this, uh, we're barring the seventh fret uh, of the, uh, the D, the G, and the B. And then on the, uh, the downstroke, you're going to catch that seventh fret of the D, and on the upstroke, you're going to catch the, uh, the B and the G string. And then drop on to that uh, seventh, ninth fret, sorry, of the A, and then go back. drop on to that, uh, that G, little, same kind of thing, right? The same thing we were doing here, dropping our fingers on to that D over A. This is kind of a, a G over D. And then releasing it off to the D. Pretty sure that's how he's playing it. I didn't, I didn't put a whole lot of time into this section. Anyway, that is uh, pretty much all of Cinderella Man minus the solo, and uh, I certainly hope that helped you out uh, where you're looking to learn this classic Rush track from A Farewell to Kings. Uh, you know, please check out my other uh, four uh, tutorials in this series of underrated early Alex Lifeson tracks and riffs and whatnot. Uh, drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that. That would be awfully nice, and hit that little notification bell so you know when I upload something new. Give this video a like if you uh, if it helped you out and uh, you guys take care of yourselves i hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world wherever that may be and we will see you next time cheers